All right, hello everyone. I am here to come and help all of you with your Free Realms questions. It seems that uh, in the last video I made, how to install Free Realms, a lot of you are having issues either running the client or running the server. Um, so because of that, I've decided to go and install the portable version. Essentially, it comes with a launcher. This launcher will defeat the need to individually extract and run both the client and the server. So let's just hop right into it. Please, please, if this helps you, send it to a friend, send it to anybody, leave a like and a comment. It's greatly appreciated and it'll help this video get pushed out to more people. Um, I will direct the other viewers from the previous video onto this one, but let's get into it. And please follow these instructions to the very T. It took me so long to finally get this to run correctly. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm going to provide a link in the description that will take you to this website. Uh, it will instantly ask you to download this file, immediately ask you to download this file. Uh, this is the OSFR portable. I would just save this onto your desktop. I already have it downloaded, um, as you can see right here. So I'm not gonna download it again because it would just defeat the purpose. But I want you to download this and extract it onto your desktop. All right, now that our file is on our desktop, we're going to extract this file and we should get something like this. Your OSFR portable extracted file. This is important. This is so important. I cannot stress this enough. Please follow what I am doing to the T. Before you do anything, please go to resources, app, server, gateway.dll you're going to right click on gateway.dll and you're going to hit properties once you're in the properties window you need to tick this box this box down here will cause many issues if it's not unblocked so gateway.dll needs to be unblocked and you can do that by just clicking unblock here and hitting apply now we're going to go back to the main directory of this file and we're going to go to the launcher.exe once we go in there we're going to get this window run it anyway and here we get into the launcher all you have to do is enter your name any name you want any username and then select the race that you'd like to play i'm just going to do male human for demonstration purposes server to everyone wondering this the server is solely for multiplayer i have no idea how this works either through vpn or some form of lan uh connection you can play with your friends um i have no idea how to set this up this is beyond my knowledge or expertise if you want to do that please hit server type in your ip address for that and then share that to your friends that way you can all play in the same instance you'll have need one person running it running the server and then you'll be able to log in but now that that's done we're going to hit start server we get this window just hit allow access to private networks now the server is running as you can see here stop server is to stop it so if we have this icon here the server is running we're going to hit play And now the game will load up. So we wait for this to load. Shouldn't take too long. And there we go. We are in. As you can see, I got my username on my character. And there's actually something cool for you guys to notice about this. Let me just turn down the music just a little for you guys. Uh, in the previous video, the version of OSFR that was out did not have as many um, abilities or capabilities as this newer version does. For example, now you can go and put on any uh, any of the, I guess, job clothings. Um, this was not available in the previous version, but all the dragon rides here that you had, I think these are all still the same. Uh, the big, the biggest thing I've noticed was the jobs that you can actually put on your new job clothings, which I think is pretty cool. 
Uh, my favorite was the ninja because look how dope that looks. There are newer stuff to this. I have no idea uh, what they've added because I just did this tutorial for you guys so you guys can actually go on and hop in without having to do the whole separate server client running um, just to avoid confusion. If this video helped you guys, please leave a like. It'll help the algorithm spread this video out to others. Um, hopefully this clears up the issue that any of you guys had where you couldn't get the server running or if you couldn't get the client running. Um, once again, I'm glad I could help you guys. Best of luck and happy exploring free realms like we used to back in 2014, baby. And prior.